Yeah, guys, also don't forget when you lift in the rear, don't forget to come into the trunk and turn off your air suspension. Okay? You don't want that to stay on when you lifting up the rear end. Okay, so the rear, the uh, caliper bolts are smaller than the front. These are 10 millimeters. Long bolt. You gotta release the uh, the brakes, the parking brake. Otherwise, I won't be able to pull out the uh, rotor. Okay, now the rotor is free. Won't be able to pull it off set the caliper there a good place for it. it's not gonna go anywhere the rotor should just come out Well, damn, I was not expecting that. Look at this. That just fell off when I removed the uh, the rotor, the, the the brake pad for the parking brake. Just fell off like nothing. So I guess I'm gonna have to do those as well. Wasn't expecting that, but I don't have them right now. I have to go to the auto store, the auto parts store, and get them. Okay, so while we wait for my son to come back with the parking brakes from the auto store, auto parts store, I'm gonna check this side, the other side, see how bad that one is. This one just fell off when I was pulling this, putting this little bracket here. It just fell off. So both sides were like that, pretty much. So I'm gonna start replacing them, putting it back together. It's probably gonna take me a long time to get those a little harder to do. Because all the springs, they got they got a spring here, spring at the bottom, those clips there, that clip there, and then the adjuster here. And, and so it's, it'll take me a little while. So I'm sorry if I don't film the whole process. I just, I mean, I've done a few of these before. I'm not a professional. So. I made mistakes too. I'm probably gonna make mistakes on this one too. I'm probably gonna have to like do it, redo it, do it again. So these uh, springs are a little pain in the ass too to remove sometimes. That one spring right there. That one goes on top like that. I'm gonna put it up here. And 
then that falls out of there. Like that. No, baby, if you, if you climb higher, you can fall. I don't want you to fall. Yes. Just go play over there. But Mario won't let me get my phone. Just play together, sweetie. Okay, so this is how this is how this goes. That goes up there. Then these are the spring goes up here, here, and here. Okay. So, taking it apart is not the problem. Putting it back together is what a little more difficult. Or probably do this for first to hold the brake pad in place. First, we gotta make sure. In there, what it needs to be right there, it needs to go in there. See, it needs to go right there. Okay, hang on. Okay, after a little fighting, that one is on. I gotta do the other one. Okay, the other clip is on. Now I gotta do the springs up the upper and the lower. You gotta adjust this little adjuster here, mm -hmm. but that's after I put the border on. And I gotta do it from the back, that's why they have this little grommet here that you pull off. And then with the screwdriver, you 
come through the back here and you turn this little thing right here like that and it kind of opens up the brakes against the rotor and you kind of gotta guess how much more you need to do it by spinning the rotor make sure it doesn't spin like freely and make sure it doesn't it's not stuck either you want a little bit of drag on it Say my tool doesn't fit here, so I'm gonna have to just use an old brake pad and these C clamp. Okay, so this is pretty much done. Got the brakes pads in there. After this, I just gotta adjust that. And adjust the parking brake. Okay guys, this is pretty much it for this video. I already adjusted the brakes, the parking brakes. So basically the way that I ended up adjusting the parking brake was not through the little hole in the back because that was just too hard. I couldn't get back there and see what I was doing. Basically adjusting it through the front here with the flathead screwdriver by putting the rotor on, adjusting it, you know just a bunch of times taking it off putting it back on taking it off adjusting a little more putting on the parking brake to see how good it was until I got it right so show you real quick. right here that little wheel right there basically you just turn it until you get it adjusted just right so it's it's got a hole here in the back right here the, the piece of rubber you remove it so you can adjust it through the back but that was going to be too difficult so I just went ahead and did it like I said by removing the rotor putting it back on adjusting it checking the parking brake and I did it on both sides back and forth it just it takes time but I got it done pretty good to where the brakes, the parking brakes are pretty good, they're pretty solid, so I'm happy with it, and I'm just gonna put this back together, just gotta put the rotor back on, the caliper, new brakes are already on there, and put it back on, and put the, the wheels back on, and be done.
and of course check my brake brake fluid level make sure we still got good uh good level there so and when you're done don't forget to turn your air suspension back on otherwise your car will look like this Now we're gonna turn the key so that the air suspension turns on. Once it reaches the right height, it'll shut off. There. It'll just shut off. Taking her on a test drive with a bunch of monkeys in the car. I wanted to come along. Sing a song for us. Sing us a song, Gabby. Yep. Okay, sing. Can we sing Twinkle Twinkle? Yes, yeah, sing whatever you want. <laughs> 